morning, peeps. Peeps. What's up, peeps? <laughs> um, we just left. We're just leaving the campground. We're gonna head and check out um, the closest visitor center, sort of get a lay of the land. We've got uh, got our lunch packed. We got our waters. We got all our cameras. We're ready to go today. So we are excited to check out the park and excited to take you guys along with us. So stay tuned, peeps. Mountain Farm Museum. Stand back, everyone. Good take a picture. Is it Florida stable? It might be. Oh, uh, Oregon. Bedroom, fireplace, a little sewing machine over there. Everything you need, huh, kiddos? No. Huh? For, for life on the farm. I don't know, a cot? A bunk bed. Yeah, it could be a bunk bed, huh? Oh, here's the kitchen. Cooking on the fire and the table for eating. Yeah, that's cool, isn't it? You think you guys could live like this? Pioneers, farmers. Oh, if it smelled better, you think you could? And if I had actual cushion on my house, on my bed, I mean. You'd have to come out here and chop wood. So I need to get the fire going in the morning. You'd have to come out here to the meat house, Nan. Meat house? Oh, well, you do the meat house. To butcher the, butcher the hogs and chickens and, and cattle so we could eat them. I don't know. Nan would probably have to do the mending and the sewing and mom would do the cooking. Huh. I'll have a job. What is this? Another job for one of us? Well, we'll have to find out what these buildings are. Oh, here's a little orchard. We'd have to take care of the orchard and pick the apples and stuff. Huh. All of us. What, if you're, what about that farm? What do you think this building is? You, got, you and mom would do the apples. Hen house? Hen house, yep. We'd have to collect eggs. Mom would do the apples, and me and Dad would do the, the crust. Oh, this was a garden. I want to do the cattle farm. They plant corn in here, all along in here. How do you get in? Well, at the end. Why do you think they have this fence like this? Um, so um, animals. Are yeah. What sort of animals? Elk. Elk. What else? What's this building right here? The corn. corn crib. What's a corn crib? I imagine it's where they store corn. What do you guys think of life on the farm? Too hard. Yeah? Being ignored by that one? Mama says too hard. Oh, yeah. What do you say, Sunny? Too hard? Oh, you think it would be fun to be self-sustaining, make everything you ever need? Yeah, no. Right on your own land? I'd rather go to Target. <laughs>
show you like show you guys a picture of it from every angle I can try to get. I am loving this place. It is starting to rain though. It's cold. And it is a little chilly. But we're not scared. We're not gonna stop, are we? Well, I'm the driver. I'll say when we stop. Yeah, it's all just clouds and fog and stuff. I, I, I've always well, don't run over Mitzi. I've always wanted to Well, we got up here to Klingman's Dome, and it's all, um, we drove up into the fog. So we will, um, we'll take the walk and see what we can see. I'm sure it'll be cool any either way, right, babe? Oh, yeah. Right, baby? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll eat some lunch first. Yeah, we'll eat some lunch first. But just imagine... Mountains uh, and trees right there. Mountains and trees forever out this way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's a little bit of a view down there, huh? Yay! <sighs> You're fine. Fog cleared a little bit, huh? Jesus. <laughs> uh, this little hike up to Klingman's Dome is only a half mile, but it's, it's all paved like this, but it's pretty darn steep. We don't need a break, man, come on. It'll be worth it when we get to the top though. Really? Yeah, I promise. Drag me up. Okay, baby. And the Appalachian Trail Nan goes all the way from Georgia to Maine. It's a trail you can hike. It starts in Georgia, goes all the way to Maine. And it's like 2,000 miles or something, I think. And yeah, you can, you just hike and camp along the trail. We have spots to camp. And 70, 70 miles of it runs through the park here. Isn't that interesting? Would you ever want to hike the Appalachian Trail someday? How come? I don't know, actually. Maybe. How much miles is the Appalachian Trail? 2100. Look at this, this is cool. You guys see anything cool from up here on Klingman's dome? I see a yeti. You saw a sand squinch? No. Where? Oh. Did you see anything cool from up here? I see some dead trees. I see the road. Yeah, what else? Clouds. Now you can't see much, huh? It's pretty cloudy. But it's cool, isn't it? Are you guys throwing rocks at people coming up the ramp? Oh, that guy's gonna want to fight you when he gets up here. I'll throw some more rocks at him. Sonny. I never threw any rocks at him. You better not be. <laughs> yeah, don't hit people. I don't want to have to fight somebody. No, we're trying to see if we can hear it. Oh. it kind of cleared up down here when we were up at the top, huh, baby? You see a little bit more? Off in the distance? Gross, Dad. What? That wasn't me. You see all those lakes down there? Yeah. That was beautiful, huh? I love this mud.
Did you just throw up over the edge? Yep. Are you alright? No. What happened? I'm sick. Why is there so much writing on it? People like to carve their names into the rail here. Well, the sun came out and we decided to stop at this little observation. This little observation place on our way back. Clouds are clearing. The sun's out. You can see clear off in the distance there. I think that's Georgia way in the back, way in the background there, babies. Really? I think so. What do you think about that? I don't know. Huh? I don't know. What do you think about that, Sunny? I don't know. Hmm. What do you think about that, honey? I think it's the most amazing thing you've said all day. Wow! Thank you. You're welcome. Well guys, we're just getting dinner started. We're This is the first time we're running the Instant Pot off of the generator. And it seems to be working pretty good. Don't you think, babe? Yep. So far, so good. Yeah, so far, so good. It'll, it'll rev up every time it calls for, every time it calls for heat, but it seems to be maintaining it. So that's good to know. But here at Smokemont, um, no hookups of any kind, and it's 25 bucks a night. So I think that's one. Of, I think there's three campgrounds in the in the national park. So this is one of them on the south side. So that's about it for today. We did a lot of exploring, saw some cool stuff. Gonna have a great dinner. So thanks for joining us today. Take a good one. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.